free rides for reciting poetry. On the anniversary of the birthday of famous Ukrainian writer Taras Shevchenko, the Kiev metro offered passengers free entrance if they could recite one of the great Kobzar's poems. An event took place at three metro stations in Kiev where you could recite Shevchenko's poetry. Here at Contract of Ploshed station, passengers even organized a concert. Без ворогів можна в світі жити, а ті добрі люди знайдуть тебе всюди, і на тім світі добряги тебе не забудуть. Зелене є поле, почорніло. І я живу, і надо мною своєю Божою красою гориш ти, зоренько моя. And it's not only the passengers who knew Shevchenko's heritage really well. Staff working at the Kiev metro demonstrated their profound knowledge of the beloved Ukrainian writer and poet. Station workers admit that they did not expect the event to be as big as it was. Я вечеря біля хати, вечірня зіронька встає, дочка вечерю подає, а мати хоче навчати, так соловейко не дає. I didn't expect so many young people to come, and they didn't even just read the verses, they recited them. Some of them came here specifically for the occasion. Organizers prepared cheat sheets for anyone who needed a gentle reminder of Shevchenko's work, but surprisingly, most passengers didn't need them. There were people from Donbass. The flash mob started with a recital of the verse by a woman from Sevastopol in Crimea. Despite the fact that she didn't speak Ukrainian very well, her performance was beautiful. There was a man who had prepared for this event. It is a great pleasure that people pay tribute to the Kobzar everywhere and also underground together with us. Residents and visitors passed the test with flying colors. During the event, about two passengers every minute won a free ride, saving themselves four Ukrainian rivnas, a massive 15 US cents. Meanwhile, near Kiev's famous Red Taras Shevchenko University, another flash mob to honor Shevchenko's birthday. About 400 people read aloud the poem Vakazamate, interpreted into English as In the Dungeons. And events weren't just held in Kiev. Dozens of other Ukrainian cities and towns joined in the flash mob, as did people in around 30 other countries. France, Poland and Latvia have joined the flash mob, and even such exotic countries as China, Tajikistan and Macedonia did as well. This is Tom Bell for UATV.